Hello, friends of Sudoku, and welcome to the first puzzle that I'm solving in 2023. It's the 3rd of January today. Yesterday afternoon, I returned from nine days of motorcycling, 2,000 kilometers through Vietnam. In retrospect, we shouldn't have done this trip because there was a very cold front coming down from Hong Kong over north of Vietnam, and it dumped a lot of rain on us for five or six solid days. So along with the colds of 14 degrees Celsius and even lower, and cold, moist, humid hotel rooms in the countryside along the jungle road of the Ho Chi Minh Highway West, it wasn't very pleasant. But it had to be done because my Canadian companion needed to do a visa run to get another visa for Vietnam. I'm good myself for six months at a time. So I just went with him for the ride. But this is definitely going to be the last time I do a 2000 kilometer ride around this time of year. My next ride is going to be approximately 1500 kilometers and that will be around March 1st and the temperatures will be a lot nicer. Anyway, back to this puzzle. This puzzle is from uh, the Los Angeles Times, if I'm not mistaken. And I solved it some time ago. I recently stumbled across their website and they have a few very nice puzzles there. This is an evil puzzle, by the way, the most difficult level, I believe, that is available on their website. So enough talking, let's get on with the solving. I immediately spot the two sixes here and the six here, they block all of these cells and therefore this cell here must be a six. And this one here blocks these cells, the one here blocks these cells, the one here blocks these two cells, and therefore this must be a one. Now the one here and here and here puts a one in this cell, doesn't it? And let's see now, oh, we got an eight here and here and here, and that puts an eight in this cell, like so. There's a six, eight here, and there's a six and an eight here, making these two a six and an eight. So sixes and eights seem to be quite a theme. Oh yeah, there's more. Look at the six, eight here, and the six, eight here, the six here, here. I believe that there's some more six and eights going on because of these two digits here. So let's see, I'm not quite sure. I'll get back to that when I filled in some more cells, I think. One cell I can fill in is this one. It's gotta be a five because of the five here blocking this cell and the five here blocking this cell and the five here blocking this cell. So this must be a five. This nine blocks these two cells, and therefore this must be a nine. And these two must now be a two and a seven. And that's easy because there's a seven in this column, making this a two and this a seven. I promise this is going to be more difficult later on. Otherwise I wouldn't have saved it, I think, because so far this is not very evil, is it? We'll see what's uh, going to happen. The seven here and the seven here block these cells here, and therefore this must be a seven. These two must now be a four and a three, and therefore these two must be a nine and a two. And there's a two in the row, so that's easy. This is a nine and this is a two. This nine and this nine, block these cells, this nine blocks this cell, making this a nine. So let's see what else we have. These three cells have to be a four, eight, and a six. Oh, there you go, four, eight, and a six. Um, 
eight and a six anyway, and there's a four and an eight here making this a six. This is now a four eight, and this is a four and an eight. And actually, this has got to be an eight because we got the eight here and here blocking these two cells. So this is an eight, and that makes this an automatic four. And yes, we got a six eight here. We got a six eight here, and that takes care of the sixes and eights for these three cells here and these three cells here. And we got a six and an eight here that takes care of this cell. So these two cells have to be a six and an eight. And while I'm thinking about that, the four here blocks this cell. Therefore, this must be a seven and this must be a four. And now we know how to distribute the three and the four here because we have a four in the row now. So this is a three and this is a four. This cell now has got to be a three. The three here and the three here and the three here puts a three in this cell right here, doesn't it? It looks too easy, I must say. Well, let's see, these uh, three cells have to be a two, four, and a nine. Well, there's a four and a nine in the row, so this is a two, and this is a four, nine pair. Let's see, if these have to be a six and an eight, then we've got to find homes for digits here, 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 and here. And since they can't be six and eight, they have to be a two, five, seven, and a nine. Let's see, oh, two, five, nine in this row. This is therefore a seven. And now, this can't be a five because we have a five already in the row. So one of these will have to be a five and the other one, well, it could be a two or it could be a nine. So I'm not going to do anything with those right this moment. There's another pair here, the four seven and the four seven will force a four seven to go in two of these three cells. It just occurred to me that if these are six and eight, then we got this five blocking these cells and this five blocking these cells and this five blocking this cell. So this must be a five. Yeah, that's neat. This cell cannot be a four because of the four here. This cell cannot be a four because of this four. This cell cannot be a four because of this four. So this cell must be a four. And therefore this cell must be a Four. And now about the seven, remember how we said that these three cells would have to accommodate a four and a seven, since now the four and the five occupy these two cells, this must be a seven. And look at this. Now we have a limitation in this row here. We need to find a three, six, and an eight. And there is a six and an eight here, making this a three. And given this three here and here and here, this now becomes a three, making this a seven because of these two sevens, doesn't it? So this is a seven. These two cells now have to be a two and a nine. And these two, I believe we all remember, right? Six and an eight, two and a nine. Therefore, this must be a one. And the one here, here, puts a one in this cell like so. Now this one and this one and this one block all of these cells here. 
therefore this must be A1. We now have the outlines of a possible unique rectangle that we need to avoid. These two cells have to be a six and an eight combo, and this also needs to be a six or an eight. So we've got these being six and eights. And that makes this cell the only cell that cannot be a six or an eight, because then we would have more than one solution for this puzzle. So this is not a six and it is not an eight. What could it be then? It could not be a one, it could be a two, not a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's a two. Easy. Now this is a six, eight, this is a six, eight, and so are these two here. We can find another three because of this three and this three. They are simply blocking these cells and the three here is blocking this cell. So this has got to be a three. A five, six, seven, and an eight for these four cells. There's a five here, therefore this cannot be a five. There's a five here, therefore this cannot be a five. So this is a five or this is a five. Yeah, that's all we can say about that. The other cell here must be an eight. So one of these will have to be an eight. And that means that uh, if we want to have an eight at all in column eight, it needs to go here, doesn't it? Because there's an eight here and here and they block these two cells. So this is an eight and that makes this a six. And that resolves the six, eight we had here. This is now an eight and this is a six, this is a six and this is an eight. The six here and the six here forces a six to go in this cell, doesn't it? And now these two cells have to be a two and a seven. Oh, we've got a two in this column, therefore this is a seven and this is a two. And this seven and this seven lock these cells. This seven locks this cell, making this a seven. A two, five and a four for these three cells here. Two, five and a four, let's see. It's a two here and there's a four here, making this a five. And therefore, this must be a five because we've got the five over here blocking this cell, right? So this is a five. And this is now a two, four. There's a two in the column, making this a four and this a two, and therefore this a two and this a two and this a nine. And that makes this a nine as well. And therefore this must be a nine and this is going to be a four. These two have to be an eight and a five. Not too difficult, I would say, but it's a nice puzzle. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed it as well and that you will come back for more videos. Thank you for watching and bye for now.